This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced techniques in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate how to animate text on a curve. And we're going to call this circle. I'm going to turn off the object and keep the circle. And with the circle, I'm going to select the text tool and click down here. And I'm going to create easily, let's see, what am I going to type? Easily create text on a curve. I've typed it with the text tool. I now select the text, Command A. I've got the text layer selected in the layers pane. I've got the text tool selected. I'm going to go to Inspector, Text, and go to Layout, which is an area that I don't generally play with. I'm busy formatting my text and making it look good. And notice the layout method defaults to type. I'm going to change this to path. And now underneath the text, we see a path that has an ending position, a middle position, and a starting position. Grabbing the starting position, I'm going to drag it down to here. Grab the ending position, I'm going to pull it up to here. I'll take the middle position and move it over to there. Option, option click on this. Let's pull it up to here. Pull this way down to here. Move this one over. Oh, oh, it's artwork. Click on it, hold the option key down, Open this up a bit. Option drag here. Oh, look at that. Incredible. And nothing moves. So how do we get it to move? Well, let's go farther down in the layout. And notice here, it is path options. Under path options, notice that we have a path offset. As we adjust the path offset, the text moves. Well, the ending position, the ending position is when the path offset is at zero. And the starting position is when the path offset is somewhere around 100%. So I'm going to find the spot where the text disappears right about there and set a keyframe. Then I'll go to the end where I want the movement to stop right about there and I'll change this to zero. And then I'll turn off wrap around. Now let's see if I got this right. Nope, need to make it a little bit bigger. So we'll change this until the text is gone. 105, and now go. Look at that. Ta-da! Is that not cool? And again, it's looping because I have this item, that little icon, on, turn blue. All right, let's just end this by putting it where it belongs. So to get this to work, type the text as you would normally, select the text, make sure the text tool is selected, and it's selected in the layer panel. Go to text layout and change the layout setting to path. Then you animate it using the path offset. But what happens if, let's just turn that off, let's create a new group. And let's just call this curve. And we'll select text. And it is, it is easy to put text in a circle, period. Select the text. I just double clicked it. Notice the text tool is selected. Notice the text layer is selected. I'm going to put this on a path and scroll down to where it says path shape and set the path shape to a circle. Ta da! Now we'll go to format, make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more tracking. There we go. And we have our text on a circle. Tracking is a little bit high, I think. Let's just pull that back, make it about 10, close enough. To move the circular text, click it up in the layer panel and drag this wherever you want it to go. Let's apply a behavior. Let's go to behavior 
and we're going to go to text animation type on. What type on does is type on will type on the text one letter at a time. I'll just have it go that far and now it types on in a circle. Is that not cool? Then once that's typed on I can also get it to rotate. So let's select this, go back to the go back to the path offset and notice the path offset. So I'm going to start the text right up here. Right there. I'm going to set a keyframe where path offset is there. And then drag to where the text finishes, right about there. And we'll set another keyframe where it's at 200%. So let's just see what happens. Nope, wrong way. So let's go to go to the end keyframe and set it to minus 200%. Ta-da! All right, all right. You want a background. Go to New Group. Pull the background down till it's all the way below everything. Call it Background. I'm going to Turn that off. With background on, we'll go to the library, go to content, go to backgrounds, and right there, cone. Apply cone. Switching to 3D doesn't affect anything, and we've now got this background on here. To move the text, select the text. That gives you a box, and you can drag the text wherever you want. To adjust the shape of the curve, select the text tool. Select the text. No, S not this one. Select the text, text tool. Put it right there. And notice that now we have these curve shapes. I can grab and drag this and change the shape of the curve as is necessary. And remember to change the position. To change the position, go back to the arrow tool and move the box. So the box is moved with the arrow tool, transform. The shape of the curve for the text is adjusted with the text tool. So you've got two different tools to work with there. A note on paths before I tackle the next project. When you're creating a path for text, the path is built into the text clip. When you're creating a path for an object, apply and modify the motion path behavior. When you're creating a path for a shape, start by drawing the path with the path or the pen tool, then modify the path after you've drawn it with the appropriate tool. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting a variety of advanced techniques in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 305. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.